Hello everyone, my name is Heather Carlton with Protect Your Boundaries. Today we are going to be talking about land survey plans and what they mean for you when buying a property. To start, it is important to note that land survey plans go by a few different names. So you may also hear them referred to as a survey plan, a property plan, a building location survey, or an SRPR, a surveyor's real property report. No matter which term is used to describe your document, they all serve the same purpose. And that is to show a diagrammatic representation of your property and its physical features. This means that your land survey plan will show things such as your house on your property, decks, fences, pools, sheds, or any other major landscaping that has been done to the property. What most people don't realize is that land survey plans are a legal document, meaning that they represent the opinion of the Ontario land surveyor who completed and signed the plan. When taking into account that a survey plan is a legal document, it seems risky to purchase a home without consulting a survey plan. Now you may be wondering, why do I need a survey plan if there is already a fence or a hedge around the property? 98% of fences are not on the property line, so you want to check a survey before pursuing any bids or purchasing of properties. A land survey plan will show you where your boundary is in relation to structures and other features of the property, meaning that it will show you if a fence is encroaching on one side of the property or the other. You wouldn't want to buy a property where the fence was on your neighbor's property and you wouldn't want to buy a property where your neighbor's shed was on your property. So you want to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be before placing your bid. When you buy a new property, it's very exciting to imagine all the things you will do with your property. Maybe you want to add an addition, put in a pool, build a shed, or even just build a fence. Having a land survey will make sure that you are going to put everything in the proper place before you start any construction or building. A land survey plan will also show you if there are any easements on the property. It is critical to know if there are any easements on the property as this can greatly affect your intended use of the land. If there is an easement running through the property, you will not be able to build a pool where that easement lays. So make sure you consult your survey plan to make sure you're able to use the property the way you want to use it. If you are wondering how to obtain a new survey, here are a few options. You can have a new survey done as part of the buying process. However, this can be time consuming and costly for most buyers. So only go this route if it is absolutely necessary. Your second option is to buy a historical survey online at www.protectyourboundaries.ca where we have the largest online database of historical surveys available. These are available instantly and at a much better price point than getting a new survey done. The best way to avoid boundary issues when buying a new property is to hire a realtor who understands the importance of a land survey plan during the transaction. The best way to avoid boundary issues while purchasing a home is by hiring a certified BoundaryWise agent. These are agents who have graduated from the BoundaryWise Academy and completed all of their courses. Hiring a BoundaryWise agent is your best bet in avoiding buyer's remorse when it comes to your property. Thank you for watching our video on land survey plans and buying a home, and remember to always consult a survey plan before placing a bid. For more information or a list of available products for your property, visit us at www.protectyourboundaries.ca.